Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little organizing ba bucket basket thingies <laughs> that I made. So you're going to need two strands of worsted weight yarn, a J six millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and a stitch marker. So let's get into it. Okay, to start with two strands held together, make a magic circle, and then put eight single crochets into the circle. It's a little tricky sometimes to work with multiple strands together. Uh, sometimes I have a little issue with it, but you know, just take your time and work on it and you'll get better at it. <laughs> so uh, put eight single crochets into the circle. You're going to be working in two continuous rounds, so you will not be joining. So um, that's why you need a stitch marker. That'll help keep your beginning of the round marked. Pull your circle tight. And sometimes I've noticed with double strand, it's kind of hard to do that. So you might have to tighten it up a few times before you weave in the ends. Now you should have eight single crochets. It's for round two. Increase all the way around. So on the first stitch, put two single crochets. I'm going to stick my marker in there. And then you increase in every stitch around. At the end of this round, you'll have a total of 16 stitches. Okay, for round three, you're going to increase into the first stitch and then place your stitch marker into the first one that you made. And then in the next stitch, single crochet one. And then you're going to increase again, so put two single crochets and then one. That's your repeat all the way around. You'll be doing increase one, increase one all the way around and at the end of round three you'll have 24 stitches. Okay, now for round four, you're going to increase in the first stitch and place your stitch marker. And then you're going to single crochet the next two stitches. So increase in the next stitch and then single crochet two. That's your repeat for this round. So you'll be increasing and then doing a single crochet and then a single crochet all the way around. At the end of this round, you'll have 32 stitches.
Okay, now for round five, you're going to be working in the back loop only. The front is the one closest to you. The back is the one furthest away from you. So you're going to want to work into the back loops only. Increase in the first stitch. And then place your stitch marker. The reason you're working in the back loop is so that it'll help turn the, the little bucket so it'll be facing upward. <laughs> and now single crochet in each of the next three stitches in the back loop only. Then increase in the next stitch, back loop only. And then single crochet in the next three stitches. That's going to be your repeat all the way around. You're going to increase and then single crochet three. At the end of round five, you'll have a total of 40 stitches. Okay, for round six, you're gonna single crochet in each stitch all the way around, and that'll be a total of 40 stitches. So just put one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. Okay, now for row seven, this is going to be a decrease round. This is gonna help make the uh, shape of the bottom of it come together and it stand up better. So in the first two stitches, you're gonna do a decrease. So I like to do invisible decrease, which is where you just go into the front loops only. So you pull up a yarn and then you go straight into the next loop. Pull up a yarn, you'll have three loops. Yarn over and pull through all three. That's a decrease, that's making two stitches into one. So place your stitch marker and then single crochet the next three stitches. And then we're going to do another decrease. So you go into the first loop and pull up a yarn and then go into the next stitch and pull up another yarn. You have three loops so yarn over and pull through all three. So there's another decrease. And then single crochet three. That's going to be the repeat for this round. You decrease and then single crochet three. At the end of this round, you'll have 32 stitches.
Okay, now it's starting to take shape. It looks like a little bowl. <laughs> you could weave in your ends right now just to kind of keep them out of your way. But for the next round, which is round eight, you're going to be single crocheting all the way around. And you're going to keep doing that for multiple rounds until it's the height that you want it to be. These ones are all different heights because I kept doing different numbers of rounds. So now you're just going to start crocheting <laughs> all the way around until it's the size that you want it to be. Okay, so here I am. I have done five rounds of single crochet. So that's eight through 12. This is the height that I want this one to be. So I'm going to slip stitch in my first stitch to fasten off and then pull up my yarn a little bit and snip it and um, tie off my end a little bit right there. <laughs> and then to make it curved at the top, you simply just row the edges down. It curves pretty well on its own. It's a little stiff because of the two layers of yarn. You can just kind of round it out there and it makes the little lip of the top. So it's cute. I like these little ones and um, I made a medium sized one and then a tall one. <laughs> so uh, yeah, see how simple it is? This one I ran out of yarn. So I, that's why it's different colors, but I think it looks cool that way. And it's a good way to use up scraps and they're handy little containers to have to store things. It's just easy to um, make them look cute and stuff stuff down in them. <laughs> Here's one that I'm using. This has got my sewing clips in it. So I can easily grab them out when I need them. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.